So without further ado, introducing Cameron Ward and the band. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Oh, I like the man here in front. It's a very, it's a humble experience, uh, pleasure and honor to be here and to share my story and our story. Um, and um, I'm looking forward to sharing some of my information and knowledge that I have of uh, my favorite instrument, which is the guitar. So please put on your seat belts. Hold on to your seats. It's going to get very, very bumpy in here in a good way. For now, we're going to play you a few tunes. I'll talk about the guitar and my experience and then open it later for a few questions if you have any for us. Here we go. This one is called The Messiah and this is a Cape Kuma. So we'll try to play a bit of everything, cover every genre that I know or at least try to attempt it and then um, we'll take you on a small journey. So enjoy it with us. Here we go. Mr. Randall's Skippers on keyboards. Give him a round of applause, please.
Thank you for receiving us with so much joy and generosity. We truly appreciate it a lot. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? Okay, here we go. Um, so, just a little about, uh, I don't like talking about myself because why it feels and it sounds funny to me. So please bear with me. Um, but my name is Cameron Ward. Born and raised here in Lotus River, Cape Town. Um, I'm a husband. I'm a father of three beautiful daughters. I'm the firstborn to my parents. Um, and then I'm a guitar player and the band leader of this amazing band. Um, I started out in church um, as a drummer at ages um, when I was six years of age. I played drums, and from there, actually, we early had uh, this conversation where we literally tried every instrument that we could literally find or get our hands to. Started playing the bass guitar. From there, my mom sent me for classical piano lessons, which I didn't do too well at because it wasn't for me. I always wanted to be in front. And then I fell in love with the with the guitar. And many years uh, ago, there was a radio station called P4. And on a Sunday, they would play jazz. And then I got introduced to an amazing guitar player and dear brother and friend of mine, Jimmy Dlutlu. And then when I heard his guitar and him playing the guitar, that is when I fell in love with the sound of the guitar. And yeah, it's been years later, and I'm still standing by the grace of God with this beautiful guitar. And so yeah, um, I got the opportunity to work um, here in Cape Town with just about everybody. Uh, local bands in, in and around Cape Town. And then I got the opportunity to um, work with, uh, I think I was 17 at the time, when um, I first became a father, because I didn't have a father in my life. I wasn't allowed to see my dad when I was between the age of 6 to 17 years of age. So you must remember that's a crucial time for, your, for, for you not to have a father in your life. And then uh, raised by a single parent, which is my mom, Long story short, I kind of, you know, went my own way, grew up in church, and then played in and around Cape Town, like I mentioned. And then I got a call to join, um, uh, uh, work with what uh, one of, I think, the world's uh, biggest and greatest gospel artists, Israel and Newbreed. And I played with them for five years of my life, um, where we played I Am a Friend of God and All Around. And what is the other songs from Israel? That, the, the, um, uh, um, um, Lord, you are good. That was my time when I got to work with the great Israel Houghton and Newbreed where I experienced to play gospel at its highest level. From there, I got a call to join now the late great Brayuma Sekela's band when I turned 21 at the time. And then joining Brayu's band obviously was a big honor and a dream for me coming through at the time. When I got the call, obviously I was like, why me? I mean, there's a lot of brilliant guitar players in Johannesburg. Why me, a little boy or young boy from um, Cape Town? Well, I flew up to Johannesburg, and when I got there, um, they introduced me to the band, phenomenal band. And at the time, Randall Skippers was the keyboard player for Brayuma Sekela. And then when I got there, I was very nervous in Baseline, Newtown, you guys were busy rehearsing there with Fana, Zulu, Leroy, Souls, and all these great musicians. And I got there, and I knew I used music, so I played the music because we played it here in Cape Town as, as cover, you know, in a cover band. And then an hour later, Brayu joined us at the rehearsal, and that's where I got to meet the great late Brayu Masekela. And I spent literally 10 to 11 years of my life working with the great Brayu Masekela, just traveling literally every part of this world. Some places I knew existed. To be honest, and some I didn't know, but nevertheless, we were there, you know. So yeah, um, working with Brayu, we literally got the opportunity to see just about every act internationally. I got to meet all my guitar heroes, such as George Benson, Pat Martini, Old Clue, um, Borelli Legreen, um, uh, uh, Borelli Legreen, and and Mike Stern, Mike Stern, and I think the 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 thing that stretched me was often we would perform uh, either before George Benson or before Mike Stern, uh, Randall can 
can testify that. So it was nerve-wracking for me as a youngster. You have this guitar hero, your guitar hero, and now you need to open for him, and now he's seated right in front, and now you don't know what to play because well, you literally checked all his licks. Um, and that, as time grew over the years, I kind of developed a style and a sound where I said, well, I need to sit down and ask myself, who is Cameron Ward? And I've been struggling to get my sound, and for the past five to six years, I've been trying to find myself because I literally checked everybody, and I still do check a lot of great guitar players. And um, when I started and when I performed, um, being uh, performing in front of such great musicians all the time, you know, you get you, it, it gets overwhelming. So, so, so. As a youngster, well, I'm not young anymore. I, I think I'm young. I look young. I don't know. You can be the judge of that. Um, I want to share my guitar knowledge and everything that I know um, with this beautiful band. Um, and obviously, I will get to this guitar later, how I got this guitar, who made it for me. This is my custom signature, custom guitar that was made for me. I have it now for the past six years. It was built, and I didn't pay a cent for it. I will get to that story shortly. But for now, allow us to play a beautiful song, um, Pata Pata, which is a 6-8 feel. And then I will allow the band to show their skills. And then I'll do my guitar things and I will continue the talking. And later, I'll ask questions if you have by then. Enjoy Pata Pata. Mr. Keegan Williams on drums. Thank you. 
Randall Skippers needs an applause for that. Mr. Melvin Williams on bass.
Mr. Keegan Williams. Randall Skippers, Melvin Williams, Keegan Williams. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, we're still getting there. Um, I would want to like to acknowledge, acknowledge some of my friends here today. Um, Julius, um, one of my favorite and best friends, beautiful and one of my favorite guitar players of all time. I want to acknowledge him for being here. My hands and yours for Mr. Julius May. Um, then I see also one of my good friends, beautiful drummer, musician, artist in his own right, Mr. Marlon Green. Thank you. And my new manager and one of my best friends, Mr. Martin Myers. He's here. <laughs> so that song we just played is called Pata Pata. It's a 6-8 uh, feel to it, which is more people will call it. It's an African groove. Yes, it's African, but... If you put the name to it, it's 6-8, and I tried expressing myself by playing some Mbatanga feels, some African things to it, just to show you and give you that feel of what that song is all about. Um, in the journey of music, I've, c I've come across and fell in love with all types of music genres, West African style of guitar playing, which we call the Kwasa Kwasa guitar style of playing, which I'll explain later. Um, the gospel, the neo-soul, the funk, 
and just about all the genres that I love, rock as well, um, distortion, I didn't bring any gadgets, but I'll try to implement that as we go on, but this journey called music has been amazing, it's been beautiful, especially with these great musicians um, sharing the stage, different cities, different countries all the time, it's just absolutely amazing. So the next song we're going to play, is a, it's a cover, it's Agency Lovely. And we're going to put our own vibe to it, our feel to it. We're going to funk it up. Funk, F-U-N-K, not. <laughs> Are we all in the same room? Thank you, here we go. Thank you. 
Enjoy that. We're gonna go to Cuba now. And this song is one of my original songs called So Much Joy. And we're gonna spice it up a bit. And it features Keegan Williams on drums. So if you're gonna tap your feet, do it now, do it gently, and do it very smoothly. Here we go. Thank you. 
Keegan Williams on drums. Yeah, is it Goosebumps? Um, that song was called So Much Joy. And yeah, so yeah, we have one more song to play. And then if I think um, I would like to invite some of my friends to come and jam with us. One of my favorite guitar players, Julius is in the house, Julius May, Marlon. Um, yeah, let's, let's have some fun, brothers. And um, let's jam and play up a storm, if that's okay, with you guys over there. Mr. Julius May. Marlon Green, yeah. So what you're about to witness is a small jam session, having fun, and just, it's pretty, Julius is having his moment here. Julius, we're waiting for you to play your song. Um, Mr. Marlon, yeah, we, I haven't seen Marlon in over a few years, eh? Let's do this, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Clayton September on drums. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
come to an end of a beautiful morning, early afternoon. Once again, a big thanks to Paul Botnas in one and thank you for having us here. Give N1 Paul Botnas a beautiful round of applause. Yaku, Cameron, Clayton, everybody. Thank you so much. We love you. <laughs>